my name is Neil O'Brien. My business is called Time to Fly Limited. And I'm interested in working with any person and any company who want to generate more success from their potential. In relation to business people, areas of weakness. I find that they're very clever at disguising it as something else. My job, therefore, then, is to help them see their behavior for probably what it really is. Uh, and try and cut through all the reasons and excuses that we give to ourselves to avoid doing certain things, but so we can just live with ourselves. So generally, it's, it's a weakness is something that's packaged very cleverly, but it isn't the real issue. So somebody is very often too busy to do something. I haven't a minute, I've no staff, I'm just out the door and I'm too busy. Uh, what you'll find is busy is quite a clever way to actually avoid doing the very thing they know they should be doing. My job really is to point out the fact that they're not actually too busy. There's something else at work that's holding them back. The main problems I see about holding people back from achieving the best are a couple of things. First thing is perception. And perception is, is a peculiar dynamic that happens in the gap between our eyes and our brain. In other words, perception is just because you can't see something doesn't mean it's not there. So if, if, if people are struggling at the moment to see further potential for their business, it doesn't mean that the potential and the opportunities aren't there. It just means that they're not seeing them at the moment. So they'd rather hang on to the reality that business is tough and life is tough and they want to provide loads of examples of that rather than looking for are there some possibilities and opportunities that I'm missing. So the, so the block to the, the potential of anything is somebody's kind of self-limiting belief and kind of self-fulfilling prophecy. People would rather be right about something than actually try something different. So that's before they even go anywhere. Then when they do decide to have a go at something, the second thing that holds people back at the moment is their inability to get out of their comfort zone. They'll talk about doing all sorts of things, and they'll talk about a great game, but when it comes to actually taking action, they'd rather stay comfortable than actually do the very thing they kind of know they should be doing. So in both of those cases, so perception is challenging their view of what's possible for them, and their, their, their need to stay comfortable. What's linked by both of those is what they're actually missing in the moment is they're missing uh, discipline. They're missing the discipline to do the very thing that they know they should be doing, really. So when somebody brings me in then to help coach them through this particular period, all they're actually buying from me is discipline. Because they know I'm going to check up on them a month later, see have they done the thing they said they were going to do. My belief is that real business growth is about personal change and human behavior, much more so than just tactics. Uh, what I've noticed, certainly in my own business, I've been self-employed now for, for 13 years, uh, and what I've noticed is when I'm having a great day, uh, and I'm, I'm at what I would call perhaps 10 out of 10 mode, you know, I'm really I'm feeling good about myself, really feeling confident about the future. When, I, when I'm in that kind of 10 out of 10 mood, probably a good way of putting it, that's when I attract 10 out of 10 quality business. There are other days then when I'm sitting at home feeling sorry for myself and I'm having a 2 out of 10 morning, for example. I've never landed a brilliant 10 out of 10 bit of business when I'm having a 2 out of 10 morning. So there seems to be some sort of weird, hard to explain, almost magnetic thing. That wherever I am on my scale of 0 to 10 in terms of confidence and belief, it seems that I'm attracting business and customers that are consistent with wherever I am. So in other words, as I say to, to business owners, you'll never land a 10 out of 10 bit of business when you're having a 2 out of 10 morning. Those clients go elsewhere that day. So therefore, we should look to invest in ourselves and get ourselves into that upper zone just a bit more often and stay there a bit longer. Then watch the type of customers that you're attracting because 10 out of 10 customers only want to do business with 10 out of 10 suppliers. Am I optimistic about the future for SMEs and Isles? Absolutely, that's where I believe the change and the return to success is going to happen in small, uh, and medium-sized companies, uh, the change is going to start there and work its way back up through corporate Ireland. Uh, they're going, these are the people who are going to change the mood of the country.